Sunset in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Eastern Tennessee as Bristol International Raceway once again plays host to the NASCAR Bush Grand National Series Food City 250. They call it Thunder Valley. Beautiful farmland here in Eastern Tennessee, but that's exactly what's been going on for the past couple of hours. We have had torrential rains, thunder and lightning over the area, almost six and a half inches of rain, and what is Bristol International Raceway, one of the fastest half mile racing facilities in the country, turned into one of the biggest lakes in Eastern Tennessee a little bit ago. But the fire crews are working to pump water out and they have done a tremendous job, Larry Carrier and his staff, trying to get this racetrack ready for racing action. Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Punch. And you know, because of the rain, we have not been able to have qualifying, either Bush Grand National or Winston Cup. So they'll start tonight's Food City 250 based on point standings. And what a point battle we've got in the Bush Series. Take a look. Steve Grissom up front in the point standings. Grissom leads. David Green in second place, a tight point battle. Robert Presley back in third. Joe Nemechek is fourth. And Ward Burton is fifth. Do you have to win a race to be in the top five in points? Well, not the case at all. Take a look. Even though Grissom has two wins and Robert Presley has three, David Green from Owensboro, Kentucky, has just not finished 77 of over 3,600 laps. And that is consistency. Joining me as always, two-time NASCAR champion Ned Jarrett. And Ned, a points battle so close like what we have in Bush right now can really unravel at a very tough track like Bristol. Yes, it can, Jerry, because things happen so quickly on this racetrack. They run so fast around here. And if someone has trouble in front of you, sometimes you just simply don't have reaction time to miss an accident in front of you. It's a survival. Tough track to pass on. So they hope to just get out of here with some points, those that are chasing the points. And uh, the not being able to qualify has perhaps helped the, those that are chasing points because they're starting up front. Now, not that they wouldn't have anyway, but there are a handful of Winston Cup drivers in this field tonight, and they don't have many points, so they're starting far back in the field, so they don't have them to worry about at least for a good while. So it's going to be interesting to see how the point battle will shape up and how this race will shape up. But John Kernan, there's one guy, I guess, that's pretty happy the fact that they didn't qualify. David Green gets to start on the outside pole. Yeah, Ned, he starts second today, but he probably would have been up here anyway, or at least close to the front. On the short tracks this season, David Green has been the model of consistency. In seven short track races, he has finished in the top ten six times, staying out of trouble, much like his car owner, Bobby Labonte, the former Bush Grand National champ. In fact, a lot of people have compared David to his car owner, Bobby Labonte. David, would you say that's a fair assessment? Oh, a great, uh, great compliment. You know, uh, Slim Jim Chevrolet has been running awful good all year long, and Bobby's right there every race teaching me and, and perking me up and keep me going, you know. So uh, we're looking for a good night tonight. And uh, once they had all the Slim Jim people, couldn't make it. But it's going to be a good night here at Bristol. You get kind of a break starting up here. There's nobody in front of you. And, you know, trouble can happen pretty quickly back in the pack. But this is the best place to be at Bristol, you know. And we have an awful good car. And I was probably going to be somewhere in the top ten anyway. But this is a compliment right here. But, you know, we had some rain today. We don't know what's going to happen now. But... Hey, this is a compliment, you know, for the team. They stayed up in front in the points all year long. So this is a good deal tonight and hoping we'll come up at the end. David Green looking to survive tonight's race for another top ten finish, top five, maybe even a win. And, you know, Benny, surviving at this place, that's a big deal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is physically, John. I tell you what, this place is a tough, tough racetrack. I'm talking to Joe Nemechek, and this afternoon the crew chief, Vic Kangas, told me, Joe went out, you practiced four laps, the first four laps, you were exhausted. Yes, uh, being here at Bristol, it, it's just tough getting used to all the bumps, and it, it sets off some, some high-pitched vibrations, and it'll just wear you out. You know, we were out just trying to shake the car down and stuff, and, and it just really wore me out. So we come in. I had to think a little bit different on how I could do this different without getting tired, and uh, we went and picked about a half a second up after that. So can you run 250 laps without getting tired? Oh, yes. Uh, we made some long runs, a couple 50-lap runs, and uh, I'm in business. What was those four laps, just excitement nervous I, I think that's that's what most of it is you know we're running so fast in practice we were running 1580s and that's flying around bristol uh, you know we used to run 1620s 1650s but we picked up almost a half a second you know goodyear brought some new tires we're fast again hey guys we're going to see something very excited and fast tonight indeed we are benny 1580 that's over 121 miles an hour and that's one of the reasons we don't see that many Winston Cup regulars in tonight's field. Only a handful. In fact, five Winston Cup regulars starting tonight's race. Just two races in a row on this high bank tough track can be very difficult and very physically demanding for a Winston Cup driver. Our speedwall coverage being brought to you by Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light. Bush, the official beer of NASCAR.
by Allied Signal's Fram filters. You can pay a little now or a lot later. By Valvoline, people who know, use Valvoline. And by Suzuki, your Suzuki motorcycle and ATV dealer has the ride you've been waiting for and the financing to get it. And we welcome you back to Bristol International Raceway for tonight's Food City 250. We mentioned that qualifying did not take place. They will start according to the points as they get ready to fire the engines Ladies down track side. They will fire up this field of 34 strong. Our Grand Marshal, Sammy Kershaw. Drivers, start your engine. And that's, and that's Sammy Kershaw, country music recording star. And has a gold album just about to go platinum. He's on hand tonight. He's a big NASCAR, Bush Grand National, and Winston Cup fan. And this field of 34 roars to life. And rain having jumbled up the schedule a little bit. We mentioned that he did not get a chance to qualify. Many of these drivers are not getting much practice this afternoon. As you look at our current point leader, Steve Grissom, 30-year-old from Gadsden, Alabama, driving a Channel Lock Chevrolet. Had two wins on 1993. Take a look at our starting lineup according to the points. Steve Grissom will start on the front row in the Channel Lock Chevrolet. Beside him, Owensboro, Kentucky native David Green, the Slim Jim Chevy. Back to row two, Robert Presley, the most recent winner in Bush competition, and last year's series champion, Joe Nemechek. Back to row three, starting fifth. He's a driver to watch. Fastest in practice, that's Ward Burton in the Hardy Chevrolet, or Buick tonight, and Ricky Craven in the car number 99. Back to row four, former series champion, Chuck Bown, in the ST Chevrolet, and then Tom Peck driving the Levin Racing Machine. Back in row five, rookie competitor Hermie Sadler. What a year he's been having. And beside him, Jeff Burton, who almost won this race a year ago. Row six is Bobby Dodder. And last year's winner outside row six is Todd Bonine. And in row seven is Rodney Combs in the car number one. That's the Ford. And Tracy Leslie, a winner so far this year, too. Row eight will be Mike Wallace and Jack Sprague. Row number nine, Tommy Houston was running awfully strong in practice this afternoon in his Ford. Tom Fidoa starts in the outside of the ninth row. And row 10, we'll see Joe Bessie and Richard Lassiter. Back in row 11, Terry Labonte, Winston Cup regular. He is yet to win in Bush competition. Come awfully close. And Shawna Robinson from Des Moines, Iowa. Row 12, former ARCA Rookie of the Year, Roy Payne. And there's a Winston Cup regular, Harry Gant. Watch him to come to the front in a hurry. Back in row 13, Jim Bound and Winston Cup regular Jimmy Spencer. Row 14 has Jason Keller, a rookie, and Winston Cup veteran Chad Little. Row 15, we'll see Eddie Sharp, Jr., and the Thaxton Ford and Dale Jarrett and the Pick and Pay Chevrolet. Dave Resendez starts in row 16 along with Rick Wilson, and you can look for Real Wilson to come up through the pack in the Food Country car, and Randy LaJoy and Johnny Rumley bringing up the rear of the field. 34 cars. And the car number 20, Benny Parsons, Randy LaJoy, is starting in the last row, but uh, he can come to the front in a hurry. I tell you what, Jerry, Dick Moroso, who owns this car, was terrified they were not going to be able to start the race because of the rain. They got next to the last spot, and they told me they may have the fastest car at the racetrack here tonight. So look for Randy LaJoy to go forward in his 20 car. And remember the last time he drove a Bush race was Talladega, and what a show he put on with Dale Earnhardt to finish second down there in this racing car owned by Dick Moroso. Let's take a look at our track description here. Thunder Valley, Bristol International Raceway. Symmetrical racetrack, 0.533 miles. It measures a little over a half a mile. Banking in turns one and two. Yes, it's 36 degrees. Your eyes are not deceiving you. It is banked actually three degrees higher than Talladega. The back stretch, 16 degrees. So it's not flat at all as you come down that back straightaway. 650 feet. And you're only, excuse me, Jerry, only on that straightaway about three and a half seconds, so you really don't have time to get your breath. Again, 36 degrees up in turns three and four. Front straightaway banks symmetrically at 16 degrees, and then not much time to take a breath there either. No, not really. In fact, you just get yourself straightened up in the seat, and you're in the next turn. They call it the fastest half mile in the world, and I've got to believe it's probably one of the most exciting half mile racetracks. 
And for the fans seeing that uh, that pavement out there, that's uh, cement. It's a cement surface. Hey, what's going on? Is that Benny Parsons? Yeah, Benny. What's he looking? He's watching TV. Hey, you, hey, you guys doing a great job, I think. I'm watching you. Hey, don't mess up. I'll tell you if you do. Well, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, wait a minute. He's got some friends there. Already got a lot of fans hanging around. Benny, uh, you know, why is it we never get to do that on, on our, our race? We don't get to sit down and watch television. They're going to cater this baby in about five minutes. Oh, oh, we'll lose food. Baby. Food, okay. Yeah. John, you're all about, you're all alone, John. <laughs> <laughs> and here's what the here's what some of the crews and some of the NASCAR people have been trying to to fight the last few minutes. But I got to say, they have done a whale of a job. About 30 minutes ago, the water was halfway up the wall. It was at least a foot deep down there. And you have really got to give a call to Larry Carrier, Ron Scout, staff here at Bristol Raceway, the NASCAR people, and the crews who all pitched in and are still now working to try to get the water off pit road. They've done a great job. They pumped thousands of gallons of water out of here. And when they got her in shape, we're going racing here shortly. And while we get ready to go racing, we'll take a quick break here from Bristol International Raceway as we come back to the Food City 250, race number 19 on the 28 race Bush Series Stale. 